Hey guys, this is a real number that's equal to 12,245,589. What this little 16 here is signifying is that it's in hexadecimal notation. Most of the time we're working in decimal notation. So we have the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the way the decimal notation works, if we have something like 5, 4, 3, 2, each of these digits gets split up. The first digit is multiplied by 10 to the 0. The second digit is multiplied by 10 to the 1. The third digit is multiplied by 10 to the 2. And the last one is multiplied by 10 to the 3. And then we add them all together. And this is how we get our 5,432. In hexadecimal notation, it's the exact same idea. We split up each of the digits. But now instead of base 10, each of these is going to be a 16. So the first 5 is multiplied by 16 to the 0. The next one is multiplied by 16 to the 1. And then this digit is multiplied by 16 to the 2. This one's multiplied by 16 to the 3, and so on. And then we add all these together. So in decimal notation, we had the digits from 0 to 9 because we needed 10 digits for it to work. On well, hexadecimal notation, we need 16 unique digits for it to work. That is where the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F come from. A would be like 10, B would be 11, C is 12, D is 13, 14, and 15. So we have 16 unique digits for hexadecimal notation. So these two A's will both be equal to 10. This B would be equal to 11, and this D would be equal to 13. So let's calculate this number. 16 to the 0 is 1, so 5 times 1 is 5. And then this is 5 times 16, which is 80. And this is 10 times 16 squared. So 16 squared is 256, and then we multiply that by 10 to get 2,560. And then it's the exact same work for these last three. And then we're going to add them all together. After we add them all together, we get our 12,245,589. And that's why this in hexadecimal notation is the same thing as this in decimal notation. How exciting.